How's it going guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at a 2019 Chevy Suburban with a 5.3 liter engine and the water pump is basically bad. It has way too much play as you guys saw. First remove the air box, then you get the serpentine belt, remove the tension off of it. Very easy and basic to do. You can see how much play it has, but this is one of the most easiest water pumps you can do ever. It only has six bolts that hold it down. You have to kind of rotate the pump a little bit until you line them up. And you can fit a ratchet through there. I use the power ratchet, but you can use anything. They're not even that tight, to be honest. And then you can easily take it out. It just slips right off. As you can see, just comes right off. Obviously, you're going to get some coolant falling out. But the main reason you're going to be replacing this is because it's going to be making too much noise. And most of the time, all the coolant's already out. Um, but like I said, it's super easy to replace. This car has 70,000 miles. And then as you can see, it only takes one metal gasket right there. I didn't put any RTV. I've done quite a few of these and I've never put RTV. So I would suggest not putting RTV. But as you can see, it lines up pretty easy like that. Here is the part number in case you're interested. And then uh, these bolts right here came already with Loctite. So I added a little bit more Loctite onto them just to be safe. Um, you can do as you please, but that's what I did personally. And I've done quite a few of these like this and haven't had any issues whatsoever. And then you just tighten them down. Uh, evenly make sure to tie, tighten them down in a star pattern it's just six bolts and then you put the serpentine belt back on air box back on and you're basically done easiest water pump ever 